En lo que va de esta unidad, hemos descubierto nuevas frases y formas de usar el inglés en diferentes situaciones. Sobre todo, hemos aprendido nuevas palabras. En la sección anterior, por ejemplo, vimos las formas plurales de los sustantivos que se referían a ropa y calzado. Unpacking three pairs of blue pants and three white blouses. Oh, and these two lovely hats. Yes, Chihuahua is very sunny. Are you taking some nice skirts? Mm, no, I don't think so. Skirts are very uncomfortable for traveling. Y lo mejor es que casi todas tienen que ver con ropa. Ha llegado el momento de hacer una pausa y echar un vistazo a lo que ha sucedido las últimas lecciones. Durante esta sesión, realizaremos unos breves y divertidos ejercicios para dejar bien claro lo aprendido. Esto les puede ayudar mucho. Traten de no distraerse. Peque, quédate quieta. Así no podemos concentrarnos. Perdón, ya los dejo en paz. Bien, si ya están todos listos, empezamos. ¡Mucha suerte a todos! ¡Peque! Ya, ya, perdón. Empiecen este mini check entonces. ¡Vamos! <risa> Unit 3, Lesson 7, Mini Check. Resolverán ejercicios para revisar los temas estudiados en las sesiones anteriores. Well now, Rebels, we're going to take a music break. In this unit, we've learned a lot of adjectives. Now you'll hear some sentences. Each of them has an adjective. You have to find it. Ready? This t-shirt is very expensive. What is the word that describes Antonio's t-shirt? <coughs> very good. The word that describes the t-shirt is expensive. Are you talking about that red shirt? The adjective is the word red. Yes, this is a very uncomfortable t-shirt. The adjective in this phrase is uncomfortable. I have this very ugly and small skirt. <laughs> the adjectives in this sentence are ugly and small. You should throw that old skirt away. <laughs> the adjective in this sentence is old. Yes, I have to buy a more fashionable skirt. The adjective in this sentence is fashionable. You should go to Fermin's outlet. You can get a very cool and cheap skirt. <laughs> the adjectives in this sentence are cool and cheap. A t-shirt that's not very expensive. <laughs> the adjective in this sentence is expensive. That was easy, don't you think? Now, we'll work with antonyms. As you remember, antonyms are words that have opposite meanings. For example, good and bad, day and night, old and new. In the next sentence, you will find some adjectives. You have to find an antonym for those adjectives. That is a word that means the opposite. Ready?
He's a good boy. He's a boy. He's a bad boy. Mm, I really like fashion magazines. I like to look at nice clothes. What is the antonym for nice? Ugly? Expensive? Blue. The answer is ugly. I don't like to look at ugly clothes. I like this dress. It's a short dress. What is the antonym for short? Awesome? Long? Old? The answer is long. I don't like this dress. It's a long dress. Here's a leather blouse. It's very warm. What's the antonym for warm? Heavy? Modern? Cool? The answer is cool. This is a cool blouse. I like this blouse. But does it come in light colors? What's the antonym for light? Old-fashioned? Dark? Elegant? The answer is dark. I like this blouse. But does it come in dark colors? Yes, it does! I think I will buy the dark blue blouse. Now, we'll work with synonyms. We know that synonyms are words that have the similar meaning. You can use a word or a synonym without changing the meaning of a sentence. For example, little or small, pretty or nice, old or antique. You'll hear some sentences. In each sentence, there is an adjective. You have to find a synonym for that adjective. I have a lot of work to do. Mm, this is a very difficult job. The adjective is difficult. What is a synonym for difficult? Easy? Beautiful? Hard? The answer is hard. Mm, this is a very hard job. This office is freezing. Mm, I need a sweater. Mm. What is the adjective? The adjective is freezing. And what is a synonym for freezing? Hot, cold, blue. The answer is cold. Mm -hmm. This office is cold. I need a sweater. Wow, I really need a sweater. But this sweater is too big for me. The adjective is big. What is a synonym for big? Large, friendly, fresh. The answer is large. This sweater is too large for me. use this warm blanket. The adjective is warm. What is a synonym for warm? Cozy? Old? Nice? The answer is cozy. I will use this cozy blanket. Now, I think I will go to sleep. Dark blue blouse. <laughs> what? Hi, Crystal. <gasps> I am sleeping. Well, wake up! Look, I bought this new dark blue blouse and also a red one. I have two new blouses. <laughs> one blue blouse? Two blue blouses? Well, Miguel, when we talk about a single thing, like a person, an object, or an animal, 
We use the singular form. For example, a blouse, a dog, a friend, an apple. We use a or an before the noun. Mm, what do we use when we talk about more than one thing? And when we talk about two or more things, we use the plural form. For example, two blouses, some cats, many pencils. We usually add the letter S to the end of the noun. That sounds easy. Let's hear a conversation. Antonio and Jimena will talk about some things in the singular form. We have to change the sentences into the plural form. Here we go. <laughs> What a beautiful Ice afternoon. Cream. I like going Ice out cream. to walk in this weather. <laughs> Look at that bird, Ice Jimena. Cream. Okay, Miguel. What is the plural form? That's easy, Cristal. The answer is... Look at those birds. <laughs> oh, now there are more. Look at all those birds, Jimena. Yes, they are beautiful. I'm hungry. I want an ice cream. I want an ice cream, too. <laughs> okay, Miguel. What is the plural form? How does Antonio ask for the ice cream? The answer is... I want two ice creams. I want two <laughs> ice creams. One for Jimena and one for me. <laughs> Thank you, Antonio. This morning, I broke a glass when I was washing the dishes. Like Crystal said, this unit is about many things, especially clothes. We learned many words to name the different items of clothing. There are clothes for all, for young and old people, and there is always a word for them. Sarasvati and Crystal will say some sentences. They'll talk about clothes. You have to find the name of each item of clothing. We'll give you a clue. The name of each item of clothing will appear on the screen. But the letters will be scrambled. You have to write them in the correct order. Let's start. I have a new... Blouse. I will buy a... Tomorrow. Dress. Jero, you have to change those. They are very old. Jeans. I am very cold. I have to get a... Sweater. Bueno, hasta aquí los ejercicios. Esperamos que les hayan servido para emplear lo aprendido y para reforzar ese aprendizaje. Gracias por acompañarnos. La próxima vez regresaremos con temas nuevos. Habrá también una nueva historia que contar. ¡Nos vemos!